and it'll do a whole floor. Three or four drops, does a whole floor. See how beautiful that is? You can see the board. It kind of looks like Ken. This one, this particular color is called Aquamarine. Yep. I know. Josh is the one that painted everything the bird. Painted the bird with the stick and burn from the board and the wheelbarrow and the board arms. The stick on, and then he did his own bird. And I am finishing his board with. Marine, which is the color he picked, and he wants to do all the green. On the bottom of the board, what do we have? We have my name. What else do we have on the bottom of the board? My name. Yes, we have Grandpa that put holes in the board for us. Why did he? Do, why do we need holes in a birdhouse? So, um, if it rains, then all the, the water will drain out. Perfect. and you had holes in the bottom, then it's really good for the plants too so that the water can drain out and the gourd won't rot if the water drains out of it, right? Yes. Okay. So that gourd, Josh's gourd, is all finished being painted with aquamarine and his beautiful little bird on the front. He just has one bird and the whole aquamarine. Then around the opening, he did black. So you can't really see the hole because it just looks like a black hole, huh? So that one's telling the birds, come on in. You might want to write that on your gourd. Come on in. This is your cozy new home. <laughs> and he, he even left a couple scraps in there so that if the birds wanted to build a birdhouse, they could. I'm going to leave a couple of scraps too. I you might did. even be able to drill a hole right here and put a little um, uh, stick in there for the birds to sit on. That yeah. might be fun, huh? Yeah. We could do that. Let's do it. You want to do that? Yeah, I might. Does everybody see what that says? Yeah. Yeah. What does it say? Gourd varnish gloss. Gloss, okay. When you're all finished with your gourd, when you're all done, we're going to put this on it. What's it going to do? It's going to make it. it it's make yeah, it but, shiny. Yes. Yeah, it's so what, make it what shine. else do you think it's good for? Make it, it pretty. It so makes that when it you soft hang it outside. Makes it soft and when you hang it, makes when you hands. hang it outside and it gets in the weather, it's got varnish on it which protects it yep. so that it can be a birdhouse for a long, long time. And if you ever see it starting to get mushy or wet or anything, mushy. you take it down set it in the house, let it dry out, and then go get some varnish or get some shellac at the store and have your mom help you put it on or your dad. And you can save that gourd forever. Did you know that? No. Gourd varnish gloss. Okay. So that when you're all grown up and you have babies of your own, your mom will find your birdhouse packed away in a box somewhere. And she'd say, oh, I remember when Chloe made that. Or, I remember when Josh did that. Or, I remember when Daisy did that. So, that's what I get to preserve. Now we're going to put some of this on a finished gourd, which is Josh's gourd. Yep, my gourd. And Josh's gourd is going to get its last coat on it. And his gourd is going to be finished, done, finished, and ready to hang in a tree. I'm done. Ready for I'm Grandpa or, what should we call him? Grandpa or, what would we call a hole, somebody that puts holes in things and fixes things for you? Tool guy. The tool guy. We'll have the tool guy fix, finish our gourd. Do you want right. to put a hole in it and put a um, stick in there for it? Yeah, you can okay. put a stick right then Before here. we finish it with My this, we're going to put a hole in it and a stick there so birds can set. Oh, yep. I need to know okay. what size right the stick here. Is. He needs to know what size the stick is. So, yeah. 
What we need to do need is to go know. outside and find a branch. And so why don't you turn off? off? You want to have something that your bird can like who's stand the, on on, on yeah, your. Here's an old birdhouse that has lots of. This one was made out of the popsicle sticks and things. Mm -hmm. This would be a good stick right here. Yeah. So make sure you find sticks. Sticks everywhere for your oh, gourd, so you can put it on under where the little hole is, and you can make it so your bird can sit there. It would be very nice birds. Birds like a stick coming out. They like a, a branch to sit on. Yeah, that's what they want. They like to sit out the outside and watch to see if any other birds are coming. And you, they can like do what they need to do because we have no clue what they do. Ready? Oops, a little to the side. That's good enough. Do just do my thing. Why? Okay. Uh, film Grandpa putting the hole in the side of yours. I did. I'm gonna draw it a little more. Okay. All right. So when I do the expertise of putting this on. Okay, I'm on. Okay, you done? Okay. Now, are you gonna video this? Come and yeah. get Chloe sitting, standing right next I'm to you. I'm gonna video it. No, I got it. No, it's just already going. Here. Um. You take your clean cloth. You take your clean cloth. Now, Chloe, come over here and stand. Here. Okay. So you can see his gourd and your gourd. So we can show you both gourds. Beautiful. Isn't this beautiful, what the grandkids did on their birdhouse? They did awesome. So I'm going to put varnish on your cloth. Come on. And now, Ew. I want you to smear that all over your gourd. Here, I'm going to show my camera. Smear it all over your gourd. That's it's like Vaseline. Just scare it. But it's going to make super your gourd gross. super shine. Not super, because this is gloss. It's not high gloss. But it's going to make it real shiny. Ew. And it's, it's going to preserve it. Shiny. It's, it's going to preserve it so that it doesn't get rotten in the Every sun. single so art every project i done with you, I did this. Yes. I had to. Or it just wouldn't look good. That's what you no, have to I'm do. I'm getting a whole bunch of paint. To oh, that's fine. Everything then just get another good. one. Okay. Everything's going to look good. You can dry it a little more if you don't want to take the paint off. Okay. Right. You want to dry your board a little bit less. more? Can you do less? Sure. Then, just a drop. Need a teeny and then just do it around one. spots. Oops, sorry, oh. it just comes out thick. Just take yeah. another one. Can I have another and one? And dip it in. Yeah. Take it the back of this and dip it in there. Here. <laughs> it might be the same side, but that was crazy. Just a dot, Josh, because it's taking the paint off. They're not quite dry enough. Okay. I yeah. thought Chloe was, one. but it's not. Yeah, I okay. still Okay, Ooh. just dry it some more and then come back and do it some more. Oh, uh, look, it's getting like your color. Josh has all done the same. Mine's cool. So it doesn't matter on his. But if you don't want to blend your colors, go okay. uh, dry I'm it done. more. I'm done with this part. And this can get really, okay. really, really annoying because so so I want to get my it hang your on. color off. No. I want to get the, so a stick on it. For now, I want to get yeah. a stick on it. Okay. Then uh, we need to go out and find a stick, and then we've got our stick artist out there. 
Yeah. Then I'm gonna do my uh, drying part, so let me go get it. Warm a little bit so we don't put a drill a hole right in the hole. This is one. Right it doesn't look like hole. it's gonna drill a hole right in the hole. Okay, here, look. See this hole right here? It's gonna go inside a hole. Like look that. what it did! It's gonna be like that. What did? Oh. Don't put it real close or to burn it. That's the burn mark right there. Oh. Let's try not to get it really, really close. All right, I'll bur bur gourds are like wood, and they'll catch on fire if you get them hot enough. I think I got mine. Looking good, Daisy. Okay. They look beautiful. All of them look beautiful.